This might not seem like the most obvious place to discover an exciting piece of artwork, but the Glasgow subway is doing its bit to lead a cultural revolution in public art underground. It was really important for me in modernising the subway that we incorporate artworks, uh, various types of artworks, into each station. Uh, I, I believe that Glasgow is a, a strong cultural city internationally and that our, our efforts in modernising the subway should reflect that and should enhance that. It was important that any work installed should have impact and be instantly recognisable. A well-known artist was needed to match this inspirational approach. Glasgow artist Alistair Gray was a natural first choice. Lots of the lassies and lads between the lucky dogs after all. Uh, because I think have, having dogs between babies and head cases is quite a good idea. Alistair was very keen to, to be involved in the project, very keen to leave a legacy within, within this area uh, and I think felt quite, quite um, pleased to be asked to do a, a major piece of public art as we were pleased to, to ask him to do it and we, uh, obviously we were delighted when they agreed to do it. It has been almost two years in the making but the 40 foot long mural is now on show at Hillhead Station as a permanent feature. Slightly paler than I expected. It's, it's more like a very large watercolour than a very large oil painting. But uh, I realise that it has to be because, uh, because of the medium. And that, that is actually how I planned it. I'm surprised how very much it resembles um, uh, the American comics I enjoyed in um, about 1946 and 7. The... Uh, I realised I was much more influenced by them than I ever thought. And I have them at the very top. And the medium itself wasn't quite as straightforward as first thought, with constantly changing underground temperatures to consider. We knew it would have to be um, in a form of mosaic or, or, or ceramic to, to resist changes of temperature in a very public place. I explained that I would quite like the buildings that I made, the units of architecture to be made as far as possible, uh, single tiles as big as possible, uh, so that they would fit together like jigsaws. Technically challenging, this is the first time a work on this scale has been attempted. Detailed designs were painstakingly scanned to make stencils, ready to fire onto hand-cut tiles all to make a perfect match of the original artwork. It was a hugely difficult technical thing to try and translate Alistair's incredible drawing into the tiles because nobody's ever cut porcelain to make this kind of jigsaw as far as I'm aware before. Nobody's ever made on glaze transfers at this scale before and nobody's ever applied them to polished porcelain before so that was the technical uh, challenges that we faced because of Alistair's vision because he didn't want just them to be tiles he wanted the line of the grout to emphasize his drawing his vision is why we had to face these things to try and make this work and it's, I, I'm, I'm delighted with it I'm absolutely delighted with it SPT believe the whole subway inside and out offers a unique opportunity to integrate art in a way that enhances the quality of the spaces for everyone. In other stations we can look at other, other uh, means of, of artistic expression, so I'm, I, I do hope that we can attract very high quality artists to, to, who want to contribute and want to help to, to celebrate Glasgow as a cultural centre. So the quest to create extraordinary artwork in unexpected places continues. And the new modern subway is making sure it plays its part in bringing a little bit of culture to your everyday journey.